Welcome to the Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group Special Edition, the Smart Survival Guide. This, edi- this episode is Customizing the Notebook Toolbar, and I'm your host, Matt Granger. So Smart Notebook 11 has a wide variety of changes that you can do to your toolbar. It's a lot different than previous versions. So in the top right or left, again depending on where you have your tabs, you'll have the little uh, customize the toolbar gear icon. So when you click on that, you've got a whole menu of options here. These are divided into actions and then the tools. So the actions part of the toolbar is over here on the left, separated by the smart response button. And then the tools part is to the right of that. So notice that you have small buttons and you have big buttons. You get to decide which is which. Uh, I very rarely open anything from the toolbar here, so I might take that and drag it off and delete that. But I might want my undo and redo buttons to be bigger. So notice when I drag it and how I get that blue line that highlights and extends the whole width of the toolbar. If you drop it there, now it's a big button. Same thing with this one. Drop it there. I've got the complete, except I probably want it on this side of the, the undo, redo, and drop it. And now they are big buttons. This one I don't need, so I'll take the delete page off. Okay. By default here, the add a web browser page is large but I don't want it to be large I want it to be smaller I also want to be able to insert a compass right away so when I drag this one up notice how the different areas turn blue right if I drop it here I'm gonna be splitting this one into two and the compass is on top and the internet browsers on the bottom. Okay. Although that's maybe not a very good place for it because I also have my ruler over here. So maybe I want to move that. Maybe I don't want this whole button to bring out the options for the tools. Maybe I want just the tools that I'm going to use, the measurement tools. So the compass, the ruler, and the regular protractor. So if I drop it on top of a button here, I didn't replace it, it just moved it over. Okay, So that's something to understand as well. I, I don't want to leave that blank there, so maybe, say, okay, well I'll move the uh, image capture over there. Now I can move these tools there just gotten rid of those instant conferencing I don't use it I don't have a Bridget so I can take that off and it just disappears so maybe the full screen I want to be quick access to so I'll put that to fill in for the small so there you go that's how you can make them small buttons large buttons right you can move them around now what you can't do is you can't put the blank pay, you can't put these from the actions over here in the tools. Okay, so now I want to work with this side over here. So I can click on my tools. All right, when I select a pen from this button, I can select highlighter, calligraphic pen, crayon, creative pen. I have all those options under there, but maybe you just want it so you can go right to it and you don't have to go through those. So you want the crayon easily accessible drag it up do you want it big or do you want it small okay. or the shapes tool is there if you don't want it get rid of it if you don't use it you don't use the eraser ever you just pick it up you can take that one off 
what do you use quite often? Maybe I like the uh, selection tool. I like that one to be big because, right, when I need to go and hit that selection tool, I hate having to look for it. So I'm going to even maybe put it over here. You'll come up with your own preferences, obviously. But I like the Magic Pen. I use that when I'm presenting a lot, and I want that one easily accessible. So there it is. I may use the uh, Shape Recognition Pen quite frequently. So I'll throw that up there with my pens. And here I can put the Creative Pen. So when I'm done, now when, if I want the pens or when I pick up a pen, there's the pens. Here's the one where I can select which pen I want. But if I just want to go directly to Cran, I can select Cran and it selects it here in this drop down of all the different kinds automatically. That's what that button does. But it also gives me my preset options. If I want the highlighter, here are my preset options. If I need the shape recognition pen, I'm right there. I can draw my circle. I can draw my triangle. I'm trying to do this just with the mouse. I'm not going to work very well. Hey, pretty good. Right. If I need my creative pen, instead of going into and selecting pens and then coming over here, if you use it a lot, just put it up there. Make it a button. Okay. Now remember, the more you put in here, the longer that this gets, the less room you'll have here for your options. So, and when that happens, you'll get this drop down arrow. So all of these won't show up. There are more options, so I get that drop down. Now I can select a 13 sided regular polygon. Not very practical, but I can do it. So that is how you customize your toolbar in Smart Notebook 11. This has been a special edition Smart Survival Guide of the Spurgvug Smart Board Revolution Global Virtual User Group. You can join us for our regularly, regular meetings every month around the first of the month, and you can find out more about those at smartboardrevolution.ning.com. This is your host, Matt Granger, saying... Customize away. Make that toolbar your own.